Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today, I have a palette review for you guys and I'm so excited to reviewing this palette. It is the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. First off, let me say, one, I was not going to pick up this palette. Um, I went and swatched it at the Morphe store in North Park. Yeah, the Morphe store in North Park. And what I will say is I really didn't give this palette a chance. I swatched like one of the brightest colors. Um, it was the yellow color. So the no joke color. I swatched it once. It was like, you can't see anything. I don't want the palette. So I was being a little B-I-T-C-H about it. And I just did not give this palette a chance. Like I should have. So I started watching all these videos that started coming out and everybody was using all these bright colors and I specifically was looking at videos with darker skinned women and I was just like, maybe I need to retry what I was thinking about. Let me, let me, let me rethink this or whatever. So I started looking at more videos and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go buy this palette. So I bought the palette. Um, now I have already been all in this palette so it's not as pretty and there's fallout everywhere but you guys I mean y'all are gonna see and find out how I feel about this palette I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like and honestly cameras do not do this palette any justice when you see this palette like in real life it's beautiful it's beautiful but anyway if you want to see how I created this makeup look and also how I feel about the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette please keep watching of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's move forward with the video bye guys So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already primed my lids. I used the Tarte Shape Tape. I know it looks white on camera. It's not white, it's like a beige color. Um, but I just used this just so that the colors could show a little bit more on my skin tone because I don't know how it's gonna react to look. So I just went ahead and used one of the lightest concealer shades that I have and this is the only thing that I use it for. So going in to the Jaclyn Hill palette, I want a pretty and pink look. We're gonna see how this goes because I haven't used color in so long. I low-key don't even do my eyeshadow like that. I'm gonna go in with Dance Party right here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Didn't know it's gonna pick up like that. Yeah, y'all can, yeah, can definitely see that. It's very, pigmented so let's see y'all I'm scared I'm over here shaking I don't know what I'm doing y'all okay let's put this let's see how it oh okay it definitely shows So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's Lolly Mama. I'm gonna go in with that shade for a lighter pink and I'm gonna put that outside of where I put my crease color just to lighten that up a little bit. And I'm gonna use my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer that's a little bit darker than what I use for my base color. Cause like I said, that color is very, very, very light. And I do have hooded eyes, so cutting my crease is always like hard. I'm gonna go in with 
What is this, Paulo? That shade right there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some darker colors in just to make it more sexy. I'm gonna go in with, oh, I didn't say sexy, I said crazy, Ooh. So I'm gonna go in with crazy. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with this palette. Like, I actually really like this palette. Like, you can see the colors. Wow, who would've thunk? Jacqueline. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes and everything else in between and just go ahead and do my face and then I'll come back with my final review on this. See you in a sec. Okay guys, now that my makeup is finished, let me just say, I love this palette. Like, I'm just gonna skip right to it. I love this palette. I'm so happy that I went back and ended up purchasing this palette. I just can see all the different looks that I can use. It's also very beginner friendly and I feel like it's beginner friendly because all the colors are grouped together. It's like you can easily see that you can create an eyeshadow look looking using these colors, using these colors, using these colors, using these colors, and then you have your two contrast colors right here. It's like, it's very easy to read this palette, which is why I like it. And it's like, oh, I use this shade. You know what, let me use the shade right next to it. You don't even have to try to decide and figure figure out what you want to use. The pigmentation on this, y'all, I be trying to tell y'all my ring light makes me look lighter. I'm pretty chocolate in real life, honey, like, and it shows. Most of the time, I do not have eyeshadow palettes that show on my skin, like, or I have to keep on trying to manipulate it or just go in very light-handed or it just doesn't end up working. And for this palette, baby, it works, y'all. Like, Jaclyn Hill, baby, you did this. Like, she really did this. Like, I definitely do recommend this palette. Now, this palette is, let me get the exact price for you, girl. Now, this palette, I mean, I will say it is pricier than the other Morphe palettes, but I mean, it is a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It runs for $39, but the good thing is Morphe and Ulta is considered drugstore, so you can use uh, their coupons that come out so that means you can use their 350 coupon or you can use um, whenever they do the $10 off coupon or whatever like any coupons that say oh like you can't use prestigious Morphe is not considered prestigious you can use your coupons on this palette but besides it being kind of steep kind of you know $39 is up there I definitely do recommend this like I'm in love with my eyeshadow look like I want to cry I'm in love like I'm in love with it I don't ever want to take it off and we're being quarantined right now, so I don't even have anywhere to go. I'm about to FaceTime somebody. Take me out to your living room. I'm trying to get flown out to your kitchen. Like, come on. But, y'all... I recommend this palette like it's so cute I'm so excited just thinking about all the different looks I want to use with this palette like this is definitely a keeper it's definitely a buyer I definitely recommend it y'all should definitely get it so that's it that's period like a little palette it's cute and it's definitely of course dark skin friendly which is what we need out there in the world so without further ado that is what I have to say about this palette I'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you're still watching First off, baby girl, thank you. Second off, go ahead and click that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.